What's up guys? It's hey, late at night. Uh, and we're out here for another video. 918, and today's video is all about low light and which phone performs best. We basically, we have uh, five phones that we're gonna run through. We have a OnePlus 6, Pixel 2 XL, Note 9, iPhone 10, and last but not least, an iPhone 4 for reference and how much phone technology has come. Has come? Has, yeah, you get it. It's like that or something, right? Oh my gosh, that was the cutest phone ever. <laughs> Low light king right here. All right, let me preface this by saying uh, thank you mom for letting me borrow your iPhone 4 even though it has a cracked screen. This is tight. I love how little it is. Okay, ready? Well, one style to it, yeah. Whoa, that All right, does look good. first impressions on the Note 9. I mean, honestly, that looks really good. We have a bit of light source here that we're working with. The water is pretty uh, good Ferris wheel light, but again, it is night, this is low light, and you this is a, something you'd probably normally take a photo of if you're down in Seattle. So that was the Note 9. Okay, all the other ones, we're just gonna put them on the timeline right here. First impression so far, Caleb. All right, so right off the bat, um, I honestly think the Note 9 is looking the best. The OnePlus 6 is looking really good. iPhone 10 didn't look as good on screen, but at the end of all this, you'll be the judge. Uh, they'll just be on the timeline. <laughs> So there, there's a lot of light in this scene, like all the ambient light, but this is a more realistic photo of something you might take. Um, and just to see how it handles the dark with all the extra lighting. And for all these tests, we're not exposing on the phone up and down at all. We're literally just like tapping in the center and then letting it adjust how it would. for in video for low light? All right, right now I'm basically looking for mainly grain. I wanna know how noisy the image is. So if I were to take the Note 9 or any phone out, I would wanna know how grainy it is, how far can I push this camera, how dark can I shoot it? Um, and yeah, it's just super important because like if your footage is really grainy and you didn't want it to be like that, that sucks. All right, really quick, the crop in 4K on each phone is a little different, so that's why the shots look different. So if you notice that, props, you got, and, a, and you got a good eye. You got a, you got a creator's eye. What are you saying, dude? <laughs> okay, we're testing out how these do in portrait mode, in low light. Niles, these are out of order. <laughs> I'm so upset. Look at him not paying attention. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands out from all the rest. You'd know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Well, I love that 
So it's, it's just like you're in the middle. All right, guys. All right, so we hope that video showed you a little bit of low light comparison between the phones. These are kind of some of the best phones on the market right now. So I think they did good. Yeah, let us know in the comments which phone you think won, which phone you think was most impressive. Maybe which one you know caught you off guard. Was the iPhone 4 tight? Was, that the, was that the best? It Definitely looks tight. not. It looks tight. Yeah, I'm thanks so much for though. watching and let us know if you like these comparisons in the comments. And we, we will... need we need the validation. <laughs> yeah. Smash us feel good about our smash ourselves. that like button. Um, and it was actually super fun to test all the Android phones. Not gonna lie. I think. Oh, shooting on on the One Plus Six was tight. Yeah, and the Note Peace. Nine honestly on the screen looked the best. So we'll see in this video. Okay, see you guys later. Thank you. Longest outro ever. Yeah.